Our beautiful planet, our third rock from the sun, our blue marble within a sea of space, revolving around a beautiful medium-sized yellow star. In fact, we're also revolving around a beautiful Milky Way galaxy, and then obviously with the universe. But you kind of forget that this planet itself is a miraculous combination of beautiful environments, locations, and biomes all across the planet, all created through a variation in temperature and precip and various other factors which create these lush and different environments from which we can enjoy on this planet. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Our planet is a wondrous selection of biomes, both on the continents, on land masses, and in freshwater bodies, and also in the saltwater marine oceans around our planet. Now, obviously, our planet is mostly ocean, about 70% and 30% land, and that fluctuates with time, with sea level change, with climatic conditions, and the amount of ice caps present in the North and South Pole in higher elevations. But generally, the WWF denote there are 26 different biomes ranging from both terrestrial, freshwater, and marine. Marine means ocean. And a biome is defined as a shared or common climate in which the flora or fauna grow within a certain location. So the purpose of this video is to point out location and where these biomes are located geographically on our continents However, the individual biomes will be in more detail in their own videos on this channel in the future, so please check them out. So hot deserts are located in various locations, both in Africa, in North and South America, Asia, and Oceania. Cold deserts located mostly around the poles. Now, a desert denotes a certain amount of rainfall or a minimum amount of rainfall that can fall over a year, which denotes a drier climate. So it can be either hot or cold based on temperature, but the precip is pretty much consistent. So we discussed pretty much our majority of the tropics with the deserts. The next will be across the equator, which will be our tropical rainforests. Now, there are some areas not on the equator, Ector region, which are tropical rainforests, which are located here. However, the majority of the major rainforests are directly over the equatorial regions, over the equator. So the Amazon, the Congo, and the rainforests of Southeast Asia and Indonesia and Malaysia. Then we have all of the boreal forests, which are just below well, the subarctic or the subpolar regions of the planet, mostly in the northern hemisphere, due to the amount of land in the northern hemisphere versus the southern hemisphere and the latitudes. We get the boreal forests or taiga. Then moving down through the different ranges of temperate grasslands, seasonal rainforests, woodlands. Then we have the tropical savanna, which is basically next to the rainforest and before you get into the desert, hot desert regions of the planet. So when you combine all of the biomes together on one single map, you get this beautiful pattern that is arranged based on certain factors, factors like latitude, which corresponds to the temperature and amount of solar insulation, the wind direction and air mass, the amount of moisture, and precip in the atmosphere going down to the surface, the water cycle, and of course looking at where you are on the planet, which again is latitude. So world biomes is an amazing topic and be sure to check out the other videos on each biome. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.